There's actually five degrees of burns that are survivable, and they're not all from fire. Here's the science in 60 seconds. Burns can be caused by fire, electricity, chemicals, and a few other things. But what determines the severity? First degree burns only involve the outer layer of skin, but even those can be severe. Think of a sunburn. Second degree burns go to the top part of our second layer of skin, and they're the most painful. They take about 10 to 21 days to heal. This is the same layer tattoo ink's injected into, so it remains our whole lives. Third degree burns is where it starts to get serious. It goes through all of our skin layers, but it's usually painless because of the nerve damage. But it's where we start to see long recovery periods and repairs with skin grafts. Fourth degree burns can extend into the fat and muscle, but it's survivable thanks to modern medicine, but sometimes amputations required. A scale called the Bow Scale was created to predict the chance of death from severe burns. Though medical knowledge has evolved and so is this equation, but at its most basic, percent body surface burn plus the patient's age gives you a score. Anything over 140 is thought to be unsurvivable. In fifth degree burns, everything up to and sometimes including the bone can be burned, including muscles, ligaments, tendons, and even organs. A handful of people have survived fifth degree burns thanks to amputation. The final category is sixth degree burns, which is unsurvivable. It's usually diagnosed during autopsy and can even char bones. Do you know the cause of spontaneous human combustion? Check out this video or click the subscribe button for more science in 60 seconds, and we'll see you next time.